Kia ora, I'm Mayor Grant Smith of Palmerston North City. We've now almost been one week back at level two, and the city is certainly back up and on its feet. We've seen schools go back, many retail shops, cafes and hospitality businesses reopening, and obviously all within the health and safety measures in place. Another huge milestone this week is seeing our airport reopen with full planes coming into the city from Auckland and Christchurch. Train services are back and city buses are running too. And our CBD eyesight in the square is open for business. Our citywide recovery plan has started with stage one, focused on an immediate response, followed by further stages of review and recovery, and then a rebuild phase. Stage one of the plan covers all areas of well-being, economic, cultural, social, and environmental. And we've already seen a number of stage one actions underway already completed. Two examples that have really kick-started the city's economy recovery have been the commencement of the Central Energy Trust Arena master plan, and that employs over 25 different contractors and subcontractors. And the Choose Manor 2, the buy local campaign to support our business sectors with more than 200 businesses registered so far. Some external organisations have been helping too. IPU New Zealand have been giving each of their students $30 each to not only celebrate 30 years in our city, but so the students can shop and rejuvenate city shops and businesses. So thank you, IPU. I just want to touch on welfare and community support. For many, Alert Level 2 brings some normality. However, some people in our community are still vulnerable and need assistance and support. Their welfare is absolutely our priority, and we will continue to support the city's social service agencies after the transition period has ended as part of our recovery plan. Our emergency ops centres continue to respond to COVID-19 at a level two, with a scaling down of the staffing. This allows some of our council staff to return to their usual roles. We're working with different social service agencies to ensure that they'll be able to manage the current and future demands. The local 0800 welfare phone line 0800 725 678 will continue to be operated from 9am to 5pm until the 28th of May and where possible callers will be redirected to local agencies for assistance. In the community development space, like many organisations nationwide, COVID-19 has presented a range of challenges for Palmerston North community groups, the least of which is the loss of community sector funding. Our team has been working hard to understand how the situation is affecting our community groups and what is the most effective means of supporting them at this time. We know that groups rely on external funding, including grant and trust funding and donations. Council currently has a number of opportunities available from one on one support for organisations on topics like legal, governance and human resources to free webinars and grants for non-profit community groups to cover administration costs. For more information on funding and support opportunities, they can be found on the community funding pages of the Palmerston City Council website. So for the next few weeks, for me, it's going to be a very busy couple of weeks with annual plan meetings, a full council meeting, our city employment summit and pushing along projects that council is either involved in or partnering within to keep jobs and employment pumping along in our city. And finally, do stay healthy and safe and keep looking after each other out there. Until next time, kia kaha pami.